Hi, I'm ERR Stories and welcome back to Life Thoughts and Inspirations TV. Today's episode is for those who are looking for sidelines or additional things that they can do to have additional savings for the future or for family expenses. But let me remind you that whatever you'd be doing as a sideline, just make sure that it won't interfere with your regular job and that you'll be able to do this after work or during the weekend. So let's begin. The first one is for you to have your own online upscale ukay ukay or thrift shop. What you do, you put up your own Facebook page and then you post there uh, some things, pre-loved items that you're not using anymore but still in a good condition and you can sell that at a minimal price. You don't have to worry anymore about them paying you because you can use Grab Express. For Metro Manila, they charge a flat rate of 150 pesos, I think. So let's say if you have if you have a dress that you bought at 600 or 700 pesos and you sell it at 200 online and the Grab Express fee is 150 pesos, then you're gonna sell it for 350 pesos, which is not bad, especially if you are not using it anymore and other people would like to use it and they'll be more beautiful and they'll be happy buying that. Apart from getting your old items at home or pre-loved items, you can also do an I, an okay okay raid where Ian you get the best clothes with the best brands at the minimal fee and then you post it on your online thrift shop which you can sell at a higher price for me actually it's not really um, deceiving people that you bought it at a smaller price as a smaller cost and sell it at a higher cost because in reality you will be the one checking on the best things for them rather than them doing it personally on their own. Number two is you can start your own encoding shop. Well, not really shop, but if you are the type of person wherein you really encode fast, um, instead of spending more time on social media, posting your comments on various um, FB groups or really chatting, sometimes just scrolling down or watching movie. You can use your encoding skills, typing skills to help other people who need that um, speed in typing. So you can offer your encoding services maybe at 25 to 30 pesos per page and if you have a printer at home and a bond paper you can also do that well i don't recommend that you do the report of the students for those projects but more of really encoding like transcribing okay that's number two number three is maybe okay if you have a gcash or a pay my application you can start your own loading business in your office or maybe even in your among your family members instead of them loading outside you can just load and you get a cash back for both paymaya and gcash it's your option whether you add it or you add an additional uh, fee for that or not anymore in GCash, if you load someone worth 50 pesos, you'll only be deducted 47.50 in your G wallet. So that means you have a, um, an earning of 2 pesos and 50 centavos. That's number 3. Number 4, sideline. That you can do well. Like what I said, I'm doing this randomly. So I hope you keep track of this because I don't have actually a note or anything. This is just spontaneous suggestion that I'm giving out to you. Um, number four is you can actually be a voice talent. You record your voice, you send it to the radio stations, and who knows, or even to the TV stations, and who knows, you can be tapped to be a voice talent 
or a dubber for for animation or for or for their series for their dramas and what not but this time would actually require you to to develop your voice and for you to be able to, to act like a child um, an animal or even an old lady or an old man it's a talent creator really. um, but yeah you can check because there are also online um, websites that would buy audio recordings and you can do that number five the fifth sideline is you can actually write a story if you are a writer you can write a story in Wattpad dream me or in any other online platforms that offer paid author program this one is kind of difficult if you are starting but don't be harsh on yourself so you start your own Wattpad account go to www.wattpad.com you can start with your Gmail or Facebook account and then start writing a story if you have a very good storyline but you don't have a lot of followers yet that's fine because you can actually message Wattpad and request them to review your story and if they find it good you can even be in their author's program the same thing goes for dream me it's another online um app for writing wherein they pay people to update their stories like one chapter a day for 1000 words or i think 30,000 words and up just visit the websites the sixth um, sideline that you can do is if you love staying at home and you don't really want like go out and talk to people um, face to face you're more of the homebody person but you get to think a lot and speak a lot at, at home I think online you have a lot of ideas in mind and you have an eye for for details for ads you can actually apply as a Facebook manager or a social media manager of a startup business so what you do uh, you check online first some Facebook fan pages of establishments with the small followers and review their Facebook page and see if you can come up with ideas that that actually would help them improve their site their Facebook site and if you have that you send them a message teach a proposal and make yourself their Facebook manager and if you do that they can even even pay you maybe you can charge them 5,000 pesos or 10,000 pesos depending on how big your contribution would be to the company the seventh one, the seventh sideline that you can do is to help promote the services of other people. Let's say you have a lot of connections, but you don't want to really be connected with an insurance company, uh, subdivision, not really subdivision, but maybe a condominium that's being sold at the moment. What you can do, you can just help these people sell their services. For example, you have a friend who's into to selling lots and units. You can recommend her or him and depending on your agreement, that person can send you a referral fee, can give you a referral fee. So rather than being a full-time broker, or even insurance agent then you can do that on a part time the seventh um, sideline idea if one that would help you earn additional would be um, let me think if you are into cooking baking you can actually bake cookies during the weekend post it online and then deliver it okay if you are connected, for example, you are the type of, of um, someone who does healthy living thing, okay, you can do a vegetarian cookie and 
post it online and sell it. The ninth one is if you are a good dancer. Okay, that's your talent. Why not start your own dancing workshop at home? Okay, what you do, if you have a big garage or if you have an extra room at home and you know there's a space wherein you can just teach people you can offer dance workshop to your neighbors um maybe post a poster outside your house and then once you reach a group of five people and maybe you can package your dance workshop at three thousand pesos for 10 sessions it could be every sunday afternoon after your church service okay and then maybe just teach them one and one half hours of dancing in this way you can still enjoy your passion of dancing and at the same time earn from your passion they always say you have to monetize your passion the 10th sideline that i am actually thinking of is you can be talent is into singing then maybe since you started I mentioned about dance workshop then maybe you can have a voice lesson um, activity in your place as well this time not anymore a group of five but maybe you can do it like a one-on-one -on -one session um, you can post it again in the afternoon of a Saturday or a Sunday you can have voice lessons with people in your neighborhood and maybe you'd ask why people would trust you of course apart from the fact that you are neighbors and you are more trustworthy you can offer your service at a minimal rate compared to those being offered by um, big companies that really teach voice okay that's the tenth one the 11th si 11th sideline that I am thinking is if you are spontaneous and you're good at MCing, okay hosting then maybe you can offer your service as an MC or as a host during birthday parties okay um maybe you can start first with your friends so instead of your friends getting other MCs or host then why not offer your service at a friendly rate the 12th uh, sideline that I'm thinking is maybe you can consider um, selling. Okay, think, help me think, help me think. Selling of your artworks. Okay, if you are into drawing, into arts, and you have a lot of drawings already, a lot of a lot of arts at home and you don't know what to do with them sometimes you you lose track of, of everything you can try selling it online for artworks and that would really be of help to you or maybe you can start your art exhibit at the clubhouse of your subdivision okay and that i hope that would help you. 13th um idea out of 20 maybe you can start your own hmm, um healthy shop at the at the garage what is that healthy shop um there are several good uh drinks juices juice actually that you can buy um the london juice mango juice etc and then we can just get it like on a consignment basis if you have a fridge you can place it there and then just sell it to your neighbors again um 14th sideline that you can do maybe is this is not really a long-term sideline but if you have old coins at home okay those that are um issued way back 1960s 1950s maybe you can ask your grandparents okay or your mother or father 
if you still have those coins and you're just skipping it out of sentimental value while it is true that you know it's a value because it's from your loved ones but if you really need that extra income then maybe you can consider selling it online to the coin collectors there are a lot um, you can just check it on YouTube you know, the fifth one maybe is the fifth sideline is maybe you can start your own YouTube account and who knows if you reach 1,000 subscribers with 4,000 hours of watching and um, YouTube would see that you are a good content creator and people would love your your post then eventually you can earn from Google Adsense through your YouTube account okay we're done with five sideline ideas I'm having a hard time actually but let's see let's see um, the 16th one could be you can sign up for grab okay you can be a grab driver a, mot a grab motorcycle driver if you can drive and you can do it after work on a Saturday or on a Sunday of course on a Sunday just make sure you don't miss church okay um, I have some friends who are doing grab after work so um, they're working in Makati and then um, on their way back to the south because because I am from the south and my friends are also from the south what they do they get um, passengers from Makati going to their area so they're earning an extra and um, during Saturday Sunday when people are more into family gatherings in out, out of town family gatherings then they can do so okay we're down with four sideline ideas the f the 17th one could be um, start doing your um, shirt business okay a shirt you can buy this at 100 or 120 in a supplier and then you just custom sorry you just customize the shirt it could be about your about the things that you love or quotations or if you are in k-pop you can just print maybe photos of, of your favorite um, Korean um, artists and then sell it online again. Um, yeah, so if you buy the shirt at 100 or 120 and then you have it printed at 60 or 70 pesos, so that would give you around maybe save 200 pesos expense. You can sell the shirt at 250 or even 300 depending on your design and the quality of your shirt. The eighth side, 18th sideline that I am thinking is if you are very good with makeup you can offer your makeup service on a Saturday or on a Sunday and you can start this again with your relatives and family or you can do it for free first and then have your portfolio and then do it online again um, Makeup service is really a must because some people, they really do not know how to put makeup. Like me, I know only how to apply lipstick and a bit of eyeshadow. But I'm not really good at mixing colors. So when I go to the party, if really needed, I have to go to a salon. But if you are there and you offer your service, then maybe for those people who are like me, they won't need to go to the salon but just call for your service. Now we're done with we're down with the last two sideline ideas. If you are a teacher, of course, and you're done with your lessons and you feel you still can do it, then do tutorial services. It could be home tutorial, you go to the house of the student, of course, not your own student, but other students, potential students that you can teach. Or whom you can teach or uh, do it at your own house you post an announcement by your gate and people or your neighbors will come in okay um, safest way to do tutorial would be around 450 
to 5.50 for one and a half hours. Let's see for that. And the 20th sideline that you can do this 2020. Yes. I am actually thinking for the best one. So let me think first. I think I'll be needing my honey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I'm running out of ideas, really. Uh, why did I mention this business ideas? Because this business ideas are purely online. Most of the time, word of, word of the word of mouth. So you won't need right away a business permit. But if this hits big, then I really suggest that you process the regular routine of coming up or registering for a business permit. If you have a name for your service, then register it as as a business name. Because who knows, it might get big, right? And we don't know. Like what Kapuso Ma Jessica So has featured, she started with online selling of some clothes and then eventually she has grown into four or five shops in the resort and malls. The 20th sideline that you can do is I've mentioned about baking, right? I've mentioned about everything. Okay. You can actually start your own your own have if you love pets okay your own place for pets haven what does it mean if you like pets cats dogs or even birds and you seem you have enough time or extra time to, to take care of them you can start your own haven for pets Maybe initially, if you are living, well, you, with this sideline, you actually have to get permission from your family members. Because some people, they don't want the smell of dogs, right? Or even cats, they don't like it. But if, if, they, if they agree to this, then maybe start this. Um, there are some families, especially among your neighbors, who would be going to to out of town trips or out of the country trips and no one will take care of their pets instead of them sending it to to establishments that offer that service why not offer your own service so it's a win-win situation you get to help them and at the same time you get to take care of the pet and that would really make you happy because you're either a dog lover or a cat lover and at the same time, you get to earn from that service. Isn't that amazing? Okay. So there we're down with our 20 best sideline ideas that you can start doing this 2020. I hope this has helped you. So I am ERR Stories. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. God bless you and bye-bye. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to your friends. And yes, always remember Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.